Huitzil was started in the 1920s by two British women to take care of children while the women went about their job of building a new country. Doesn't matter what color you are, what language you speak, Huitzil helps anybody who lives in Israel. I've been involved with Huitzil since I was a little girl. My mother was involved with Huitzil in Bogota. My grandmother was involved in Huitzil in Paris. My grandmother was part of it, my mother was part of it, all of the ladies in my community. They were always trying to raise funds and, and make activities and all this was for the children and the women of Israel. It's a generational thing that comes in your DNA when you're born. It comes from my mother, now me, my daughters. Witzel has people from all over the world. Even though we are all from different countries and different places and different cultures, we have the same goal, which is taking care of Israel. WITSO has grown to an organization that has volunteers all over the world. Over 52 federations. It has 5,000 workers in Israel besides the volunteers. It's a huge enterprise and it touches the lives of everything and everybody. We have 800 projects. Here in Florida, we try to organize our fundraising campaigns to help maintain three projects that are very dear to our hearts, Nira Emek, Ramat Gan, and Rishon Letzion. But all of a sudden, war erupts, or there is a huge fire that burns the north of the state of Israel, and Wito is also there. from newborns all the way to elderly. Witso is the heartbeat of the Israeli society. The core in a society is the children. If you love the children of Israel, belong to Witso. It's truly an organization that grows with the needs of the country. Everybody there is working over time with love, with passion. Vizzo is the only organization that takes care of every single Israeli immigrant needing help from Ethiopia, Russia, South America, from France, from all over the world. And a lot of organizations do come and help okay, to bring them to Israel. But who dressed them? Who taught them Hebrew? Who gave them their clothes and their love and understanding? Vizzo did that. These are kids that have never celebrated a birthday. They've never had anything. Whatever they need, we do it. If it's a bar mitzvah for 700 kids, so we provided everything that was needed for the 700 kids. And they had a party for 1,400 people. They had the feeling for all the boys. Without Zionist organizations like Weasel, the Zionist dream would not be nearly as bright and the hope for tomorrow would not be nearly as real as it is right now. WITO doesn't just help the underprivileged. WITO also rescues children from abused homes. We also take in the orphans of Israel's wars and help those whose spouses were killed on the battlefield defending our Jewish state. Our volunteers treat them like they are their own children. I had a friend once tell me, I want to save lives. So who do you suggest? I said, I suggest which. If somebody calls and she says, my life is in danger, she's gonna be in one of our centers in a few hours with her kids, with everything. She doesn't have to take food, she doesn't have to take clothes. We're gonna provide everything. 
that's saving a life. It makes the impossible possible for so many people. Every person who works for WITSO has the biggest heart you've ever seen. They just want to help everybody. They are blonde, black, brown. They're Hispanic or not. They come from all over the world. But once they are in our centers, they're just children. They're the WITSO children. We are partners with the government of the state of Israel. We take care of all the social aspects that are always present and need to be addressed. WITSO is Israel. WITSO was there before the state of Israel, and WITSO will be there forever. They lift their sleeves and they're working day and night, making sure that these kids will grow up to be better human beings for tomorrow. I'm very, how you say in English, orgullosa, eh, proud to be a part of WITS. They not only feed them and, and dress them and help them, they empower them. They, they give them a sense of being. They give people the tools to become someone. You can look and see the future when you see our little children. They have the potential to be anything they want to be. Many of the children, when we started in Witsu here and we were so young, today they are the soldiers. They're the people protecting the land. And many doctors and many actors and many ministers came from Witsu. For me, the most important organization I give money to is WITSO. Without WITSO, some of these children would have nothing. You can find in this book all the babies who were here, more than 7,000 children, only in this book. It starts in 1924. The first baby was Rachel Mizrahi, who came here in November 20, 1924. She was found in the streets as Sufit in Hebrew. And she spent here uh, one year. And from here, she was uh, adopted. People who came from Paris, Persia, France. The father was killed. The mother is sick, mental illness. If the walls could talk, you can hear so many stories, so many sad stories, so many stories of success. WITSO has touched every person, directly or indirectly, who lives in Israel. WITSO is my connection to Israel. WITSO is hope. There's so much pain. In Israel society, people have to go through so much things over there that we can't even imagine. There's a wars going all the time, the kids are going to the army, there's economic situation for most of the families, is very hard. Which was for them, they're, they're there for them, and with love and open arms, never trying to turn anybody away. We do what we can, it's, it's, it's a big thing. Without Vito, Israel will be very different. Vito is the backbone of the Israeli society. I have been able to see it with my own eyes and visit the centers and see the little children. I see the centers, how they are completely beautiful. I do get emotional about Vito because they give everything of themselves. We all belong at the end of the day. We belong to a family, and our family is WITSO. We have made contributions to WISO for their humanitarian efforts in Israel, and we will continue to do so. 
because this is exactly the kind of support that Israel needs to continue its growth and development. In reality, what we do, nobody does. We're taking care of the women and children of Israel and the future of Israel.